Day seven and eight are here. And if you made it this far, big high five to you. That's no easy feat. Even though this challenge is relatively simple, you're just drinking a jar of smoothie every single day, it takes some gumption, and I'm very proud of you. Let's not dilly-dally, let's hop right in. In today's smoothie, we have blended through all of our baby greens, so we are now switching to red leaf lettuce. And red leaf lettuce, some people would never think to use that in a smoothie, but it's quite delicious, and it's quite nutritious. You don't have to chop it up too finely because it's all going to get pulverized. In it goes. Kind of shake off any of the water, even though it doesn't really matter, I guess, because we're going to be adding more water to it, like now-ish. Quart of water goes in. We're also going to be parsley bombing this smoothie. So with my green smoothies, often I like to give it a little bit more oomph. And the best way to do that is to add an herb. Now this could be basil. Basil is exceptionally tasty in green smoothies. It could also be things like parsley or cilantro. My floor is creaky, it's gonna drive me nuts, but we're gonna do this on the first take. So parsley is very nutritious and you might not think to put it in a green smoothie, but you should think it because it's incredibly delicious. In it goes. This smoothie's been parsley bombed. We have more pear. And I'm not gonna tell you what I think about pear seeds because by now you already know. So, thank goodness for that. Sergey is learning how to become quick and efficient. Once again, we're gonna throw the dates in with no pits. I think I just complimented myself and then I undid it shortly thereafter by talking about dates, regurgitating that information. But, you know, maybe for some of us, repetition will be helpful. At least that's what I'm gonna tell myself here and now. Two more bananas. In they go. Here's a fun little fact about bananas. When a banana is totally ripe, you can split it in threes just by putting your finger through the middle of it. So all fruit can be eaten without utensils. And this right here, if you ever go to dehydrate bananas, that's the best way to quarter them, to, to put them in thirds to make nice little bite-sized pieces. So that's a fun little trick. In you go, banana. And we have our two cups of frozen mangoes. Let me just rinse my hands. Alrighty, let's blend. So seal the lid, give it a nice push, and let's try the smoothie setting, why not? Maybe the blender knows better than me. Vitamix. Let's see how well you've perfected your smoothie presets. The suspense. It's pretty darn smooth. Good job. So the preset smoothie on this A3500 
is a okay. Your smoothies are done. And you even have a little bit more to spare. All right, you know the drill. Seal them up and get on with your day. Perhaps now is a good time to mention that it really doesn't matter how or when you ingest your smoothies. Some people sip on them throughout the day, just casually sipping on their green smoothie jar. Other people drink it first thing in the morning before breakfast. Uh, in my research, and I have actually done research that's outside of Googling stuff, in my research, it really doesn't matter how you drink it. The benefits are exactly the same. And I know this firsthand because in 2013, I was working on a film called Powered by Green Smoothies. You can watch it for free on YouTube. And in that movie, I put a bunch of endurance athletes on smoothies just to see how it would affect them. And they drank it every which way that you could think of. And all of them reaped the rewards except for one person. And I'm not going to spoil it for you. You can go and watch the movie and see what happened to him. And, 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 just because it's a smoothie doesn't mean that you have to not chew it. Uh, digestion starts in your mouth. And so you want to masticate everything that you that you eat, including your smoothies. So, you know, if nobody's watching, even better, you're not going to embarrass yourself. But when you're drinking your smoothie, make sure to mix it with your saliva. That is going to ensure that it digests properly. And so on that note, I'm going to leave you for today with two more smoothies to drink.